going to make a quick video talking about the title. What is up, Finn Fan? So, I was going to make a video today, being that I already um, made a video kind of talking about areas or positions that need to step up for successful 2022 season. But the Miami Dolphins have officially named their captains of their team. And I want to talk about it because I think it's incredibly interesting. I'll show you real quick. Let me scoop. That is your captains for this team. Tua Tungavailoa, Javon Holland, Tyreek Hill, Xavier Howard, Alandon Roberts, Teron Armstead, Christian Wilkins. Those are your team captains for the 2022 season. <clears throat> Tell me real quick in the comment section. Do you notice a huge difference? Because I do. Do you notice a huge difference between this year's captains and last year's captains? Because I do notice a difference. And I'm going to talk about it real quick. For me, the biggest difference is all of the names on those on that list are starters or the stars of the team. Tyreek Hill, Teron Armstead, Xavier Howard, Javon Holland, Tua Tungavailoa, Lana Roberts, starting quarterback, starting safety, starting wide receiver, starting co corner, starting middle linebacker, starting left tackle, starting defensive, and that's where they have them linked. Starters. Last year, you had Clayton Fedulum, you had Mac Hollins, you had special teamers, you had second stringers you did not have any starters last year and i kept saying that i kept reiterating that i kept talking about what mac collins said about how their voting process for the captains last year was different than he's ever been a part of people kept ignoring it some did some didn't kept ignoring it and kept focusing on the fact that tool wasn't a captain last year but didn't really want to listen, understand, or look at the fact that none of the people who are captains this year were captains last year. Funny fact, <clears throat> Mike McDaniel today said that Tua received the most vote, votes slash points of any Dolphin in captain votes among players. I guarantee you, if this was the same way last year, he would have been a captain again last year. So there you go. Tua is the captain so along with, again, starting safety, Javon Holland, starting wide receiver and star wide receiver, uh, Tyreek Hill, starting corner, star corner, Xavier Howard, middle linebacker, Alana Roberts, starting star left tackle, Teron Armstead, and Christian Wilkins, starter. I kept saying this last year, and people were like, well, Tua, the team doesn't want Tua because he's not the starter. The players don't want, the players aren't backing Tua because he's not the, he's not the captain. And I'm like, did you hear what Matt Collins said? Go back if you want. It's You're going to have to go way far back. And uh, listen to what he said about how the they picked um, captains. Some, and there is the rumor out there. Again, you know me. I don't deal with rumors. I deal with hard facts. You know, this is what is said from player to player. This is what some people said that uh, Tua didn't want to be a captain because he wanted to be around um, Brian Forrest. I don't believe that. I don't believe that at all. But real quick, i um, going to talk about some practice notes from today. Uh, but I did, again, mostly want to uh, talk about the captains because it's, we got stars. We got, like, those captains you're listening to. You're listening to Tyreek Hill if you're a wide receiver. You're listening to Christian Wilkins, a very vocal uh, guy. You're listening to Xavier Howard if you're corner. It's like all – it's like he took – each position on the def on the defense and the offense and was like, here's your captain, here's your cap pick, and everyone voted. Well, he's our leader, he's the quarterback, he'll be the captain. Um, you know, start one of the leaders in the backfield of the defense, Javon Holland, and we're also gonna throw X on there. The leader of the offensive line, Toronto, it's leaders, leaders. Um, but the Patriots did some Patriot things and they claimed um or they signed to the practice squad, Lynn Bowden Jr. Um, good move by them. I think he's serviceable. But honestly, we all know that they signed him to try to get some ideas on uh, what the Dolphins are doing when they come to Miami to play them. Um, Mike McDaniel was asked about it. He said, no, 
there was a concern early in my career considering you can go online and buy almost every playbook I ever worked on. It doesn't concern me at all. I would assume they were doing that because they had exposure to him and not to get cryptic answers because he had those answers. Uh, I'm not that cryptic. I'm happy for Lynn. You invest in each and every player and you have to let guys go. Their sacrifice is not lost on me. It happens. Dolphins are still going to win. Spoiler. <laughs> Spoiler for my uh, preview video next week. I still think the Dolphins are going to win. Um, also, he talks about that the Dolphins aren't separated by positions in the locker room. And that's by design. I keep hearing this uh, commonality that it is offense versus defense. That uh, this just in the win-loss column is one team. I agree. I want players to be close as possible, as invested in each other as possible. Why would I have guys who go to position meetings, sit next to uh, each other? They see each other all the time. That's a very good reason, Mike. Uh, this was the first action I could take to facilitate better team ca camaraderie. You spend a lot of time uh, there. He's doing good things. I'm really liking what he's doing. One other thing, just talking about um, practice today. Andrew Van Ginkle, Eric Rowe, Clayton Fedulum. Again, we're not seeing Thursday's practice. Nick Needham was working on the sideline, and Tanner, uh, as did Tanner Connor, uh, after stretching with the team. So, again, it's a slow process to bring them back in, but they do have – next week is the start of the season. they got about 10 days. 10 days, give or take. Um, actually, they got about eight days because Friday, you really get a good idea of um, what's going on with uh, injuries. One last thing I'm going to talk about uh, is Russell Wilson got a fat contract. He didn't get the contract that Deshaun Watson got, but Russell Wilson got a fat contract. And I know uh, people keep talking about this, and I'm, I'm someone even said for comment of the day for me to address this and put this to bed. Lamar Jackson's probably not happy. Um, it seems like the Baltimore Ravens are like, see, look at the contract that um, Russell Wilson got. It wasn't a fully guaranteed like Deshaun Watson because we're not stupid like the, the Broncos aren't and we're not stupid like the Browns to give somebody like that a fully guaranteed contract. Um, so they're probably trying to be like, Lamar, work with us, work with us here. But it seems like Lamar might want to get out soon. And obviously people are saying, he's going to Miami. And then there's the pictures of him going to Miami, yada, yada. Ignore it. That's how I'm going to address it. Ignore it. It don't matter. Two is the starting quarterback. We're getting ready for week one. And I already said what I had to say last, uh, this morning's video. You can rewatch that. But just ignore it. Don't make any sense for you to think about it, talk about it, d dwell on it now. It doesn't make sense to talk about any of the things I'm hearing people talk about now. Oh, Tua versus Skyler, and Tua doesn't do this well, and Tua this, and uh, what is the point? He's starting on September 11th. He is your starting quarterback on September 11th. He'll either answer questions or he won't. There's no point in having these stupid debates anymore. It don't mean anything. Um, but that's what I got for you. Again, a short video. I just wanted to talk about the captains. I wanted to give you some practice notes. Uh, and all that stuff. And last thing, go time Dolphins. I'm going to be collabing with them later today. Um, so it's going to be fun. I'll let you know. I'll post the video uh, tomorrow because I'm going to be, you know, you guys want me to react to Kurt Warner's film breakdown of two. I'm going to be doing that tomorrow. So I'll post in the video, uh, their video, when I go talk to them overseas. It's going to be fun. Well, on that, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Like usual, stay classy. If it's up.